Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to go over our spelling words for the day. Let's begin by taking and turning to page 31 in the middle portion of our spelling books. And let's go ahead and fold that page neatly in half. All right, as we go through our words today, make sure that you are participating well using your hands and fingers to break words into syllables and sounds. Make sure you're trying to say everything with me so you're learning how to spell this word and English words in general. And then make sure you're using your very best handwriting with all the appropriate spaces, rules, and markings. All right, let's look at the first word, and the first word is plan. Like, I'm, I want to make a plan on what to do today. Plan. Base word plan. P -l -a -n. Plan. Okay, write plan. P -l -a -n, plan. That word has no markings. Now, the next word is broke. This is the past tense for the word break. This is what we call an irregular verb because it's not break it, right? I didn't break it, the, uh, the tool. I broke the tool, okay? Broke, base word broke. B -r -o -k -e. B-R-O-K-E, I broke. B -r -o -k -e. Broke. Markings. B -r -o once. K once. E once. Broke. The next word is feel. Like, how do you feel? Or can you feel this? Feel. Base word feel. F e o. Feel. We're going to use the double E. Feel. E all markings. E once all feel. Now the next two words are going to be a little bit different. The next word is sure. Like, are you sure about that? Now on sure, the first sound we hear is shh, but it's going to be made with an s only. Right. So this is a weird one. It's we hear an sh sound, but this could be an s only. It's probably because it's followed by a u. And U's oftentimes will sort of mess up the sound of the letter in front of it. And so instead of saying sewer, we say sure. Okay, and that U kind of probably does that. Okay, and then so sh, U, R, E, sure. Okay, write it. Sh, U, R, E. Markings. Sh, twice. U, once. R, once. E, once. So we double underline the S because it's making an SH sound, and then the E is allowing the U to say U. The next word is similar to it, and it is sugar. I, I put sugar in the coffee. Sugar, base word sugar. Shug, R. Sh, uh, g. Okay, so same thing, SH sound, but I'm using an S for it. And then R, sugar. Shug. R markings sh twice uh g uh, uh three g r once and again we have it's a u that's following it and so that's probably what's causing that and we'll brace those two all right the next word is least so not the greatest but the least least base word least l e s Least. And this is going to be the E A A. Okay, right? Least. L E S T. Least. Markings. L E once. S T. Least. The next word is sorry. Like, I am sorry that happened. Sorry. Base word sorry. Sar. R. S. A. R. R. I, sorry, okay, sorry, sar, re, s, a, one, r, rule, 29, r, i, rule, six. So here, I put a one above the o because the o is saying its first sound, right? So it's not ori, right? This R is only here, so that that O is not at the end of a syllable, so it doesn't look like so re. Okay, and so that's rule 29. English words can't end an I, so use a Y. Rule 6. 
The next word is press, like if you push something, you're going to press it, right? Or we can think of press as like the people who report the news, that is the press. Press, base word press. P, r, e, s, s. Okay, so double s at the end, right? Press. P, r, e, s, s. Markings. P, r, e, s. Rule 17. Rule 17, words that end in an S will often double at the end. Next word is God. All right, so we're going to use this. We're going to spell this two different ways. One's going to be not capitalized. One's going to be capitalized, right? So the word God. So if I use the word God, not referring to a, a specific being as in, its, as in its name, but just to use the word God in general, like... The Vikings believe that Thor was the god of thunder, or um, the Roman god Jupiter ruled over all the gods, right? Here, I'm not using God as a name for God. I'm just using it as a general, uh, I'm just using it as a, a descriptive term, right? To say that the, that the Romans believed Jupiter was a god, okay? So here, I'm not using God as a name. I'm just using it as a description of the 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 being that I'm talking about, okay? So here we're not going to capitalize it. So, God. G -a -d, G-A-D. God. G-A-D. God. Okay, no markings. Now, the next word is God, but here we're using it as a title. So if someone might say, I believe in God. And here, God is functioning as the name of the being, okay? And so here, if you're using God as, as the name of the being, it is a proper noun because you're using it as a name, right? So God, base word God, g a d God. And here you got to capitalize it, g a d Markings, g, rule 26, a d God. Right, we'll brace those two. So remember, if you're using it just to describe or talk about something, you're going to use this. But if you use it as a name, you're going to capitalize it like this. I believe that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, that's all of our words for today. I hope you have a terrific day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.